Raymond Ford versus Zakaria Lucas. To those who don't know, they recently just fought over in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, USA in the undercard of the Love vs. Spark event. Uh, you can watch the whole entire card right now on The Zone if you want. And uh, yeah, this fight um, was scheduled for 10 rounds. It ended in the 8th round with Ford winning the fight by knockout. It was pretty much all Raymond Ford. He was able to score a knockdown in the, the early rounds. I think it was actually round one. And um, eventually scored the knockout in round number eight. He was just putting on the beating on Zakaria Lucas. It was a pretty dominant performance from Raymond Ford. He did a very good job picking his shots, following up with his punches, landing the uppercuts, the left, rights from different angles, uh, throwing the combinations. Uh, and he landed a big, big right hook that knocked out Zakaria Lucas and yeah it was uh, I gotta say it was a very very impressive win from Raymond Ford um, I thought this was going to be the toughest fight of his career but obviously I was wrong Raymond Ford showed that he is definitely a top 15 fighter at 126 pounds um, and with this win he uh, improves to 13 and 0 one draw seven wins coming by way of knockout TKO definitely a much much better fighter than he was a few years ago um i said that in that last the last fight uh he had it he he has dramatically improved since obviously since he turned pro which is was expected but like i said early on in his career when i started watching him when i when we started following him i did say that he i see him becoming a world champion one day and now with this win he's one step closer to fighting for a world title he gave Zakaria Lucas his second loss in his pro career, only lost to now Raymond Ford. And uh, who did he lose to? Uh, Isaac Avelar back in 2020. But keep in mind, he went the distance against Tuxigat Nayambayar, who was a you know Olympian and top contender at the time he fought him. So it just goes to show, you know, it was a good measuring stick to see where Raymond Ford is at right now. And right now, he definitely deserves to be in the top 15. Going into this fight, he was number 8 by the WBA and number 14 by the IBF. In my opinion, I think he should be fighting these guys as well, these other top 15 guys. I mean, he already defeated Lucas, who was ranked number 14. I think he, hopefully, Matchroom and um, the Zone can find somebody to fight him uh, among the top 15 and um, so that he can move on to eventually fighting for a world title. Um, but yeah, he's he's definitely, definitely a future world champion, in my opinion, Raymond Ford. So keep start paying attention, keep an eye on him, and... Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on for you know for the rest of his career. So subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that like button, like button if you haven't yet. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, what did you think of the fight? Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.